Hi everyone, welcome back to my video series on embedded system. Uh, this is a short video on the 8051 microcontroller. Um, this time in this video, um, we're going to focus a little bit more on the CPU architecture. So this is a picture of the 8051 microcontroller. And this is a block diagram of the 8051. Uh, here we have the CPU, uh, the RAM, the ROM, the input-output ports. Uh, we have uh, four input-output ports, port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3. They are known as P0, P1, P2, P3 respectively. And uh, in addition to the ports, we have timers, a serial port, interrupt control circuits, the bus control circuits, and the oscillator. So uh, what I would like to do uh, in this video is to focus on the CPU. Now, let me just briefly define what the CPU architecture is. Basically, the CPU architecture refers to how uh, the different components like the arithmetic logic unit, the ALU, uh, registers, control unit, uh, how these components are connected together to form a CPU. Now, the way how these components are put together determine how the instructions are executed. Now, I basically uh, this di diagram is basically is, uh, is a different view of the block diagram, but focusing more on the CPU architecture. It looks at first sight, it looks a little bit complicated, uh, but not to worry. Here, this block that I have uh, put in dotted lines, that is, this is the CPU. Uh, remember the definition of CPU uh, architecture, we uh, have uh, components like the ALU, the arithmetic logic unit. Then we have the different registers. Here we have the accumulator, register B, and uh, special uh, function registers, uh, and a whole host of other registers. Now, I am taking time to point it out this out to you is because in the next few videos we'll be programming the 8051 and I'll be referring to these uh, registers ALU and so on so I I just would like to give you a, a, a kind of picture of what they are so to finish off um, here we have the uh, input output ports port 0 port 2 port 1 port 3 and not forgetting the RAM and the ROM. Right, that's basically that's it. Um, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.